Are you looking to use compression for your audio production but don't know how to use it? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi there! I'm G2 providing tips and tricks to help other indie artists improve their sound. And if you're new to the channel, welcome! Today we're going to talk about one of the most widely used tools in audio production and that is compression. So what is compression? Compression is the reduction of the dynamic range of an audio signal, which are the loudest and softest part of that signal. What a compressor does is it brings down the loudest parts up to a certain threshold and brings up the quieter parts in order to produce a consistent average loudness. It is often used to make the track sound more natural without adding distortion. So let's take a look at the different parameters for a compressor. First is Threshold. Threshold is a set level measured in dB or decibels at which the compressor will engage. And only the signals that go past the threshold will be compressed while the rest will be untouched. Next is Ratio. Ratio determines how much gain reduction the compressor applies when it goes beyond the threshold. A ratio of 1 is to 1 is called unity gain and basically it doesn't apply any compression at all. While a ratio of infinity to 1 is called limiting as it basically does not let any signal go past that threshold. Next parameter is called Ni and basically it determines how the compressor transitions from the uncompressed state to the compressed state. So a soft knee has a smooth and gradual transition to the compressed state, while a hard knee has a quick and instantaneous transition. Next parameter is attack and release time. Attack time determines how fast or how slow the compressor starts compressing the signal, and release time determines how fast or how slow the compressor stops the compression. And the last parameter is makeup gain. When you apply compression to an audio signal, you basically lower the output because the audio signal is squished. And in order to compensate for that, we apply makeup gain. So this is done to match the output close to the input levels. So let's take a look at some audio samples. And I recommend listening through a studio monitor or high quality headphones. Okay, so we have some audio samples right here. First, let's take a listen at uh, vocals. So this is vocals without compression. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now for vocals, I'd like to use these settings. So for attack, we set it at the fastest setting. For release at 0.5 seconds. The ratio from 2 is to 1 up to 8 is to 1. For knee, uh, usually we'd like it to have a soft knee. So I have this soft knee knob right here. I just put it all the way up. And for threshold, so this is up to you. So whatever sounds good to your ears, uh, you just set it at that threshold. Uh, for makeup gain, uh, I usually set it to where there's basically no difference between on and off. So let's take a listen with compression, the vocals. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And without compression, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. With compression, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So you can hear with compression, the volume is much more even, especially in the quiet parts right here. And at the end of the sentence, when I say dog, it sounds more even, uh, like it has the same volume as the other words of the sentence. Next, let's take a listen at guitars. So this is a guitar track without compression. Okay, so for guitars, the attack, I usually set it at 2 milliseconds up to 5 milliseconds. The release time at 0.5 seconds. 
the ratio at around 4 is to 1 and a hard knee so for this type of compressor i have the soft knee knob turned all the way off and then for threshold uh, you can simply use your ears whatever sounds good to you the same with makeup gain so th the target for makeup gain is that you shouldn't hear a spike in volume when you turn on or turn off the compressor so this is the guitar track with compression <laughs> without compression and with compression you can hear the compressor working at the quiet part right here especially after the initial strum or the initial downstroke right here and here so it gives you a much more even sound next let's take a listen at a bass track so we have this bass track right here so this is without compression So for bass, uh, I usually set the attack around one millisecond and the release time at 0.5 seconds. The ratio at around four is to one, up to 10 is to one. And we'd like to have a hard knee for this. So the soft knee knob all the way off. And then use your ears for the threshold and makeup gain. So this is the bass track with compression. without compression with compression So you can hear the compressor kicking in, especially at these parts after the initial thump of the bass. And you can clearly hear this loud part being brought down by the compressor. So it gives you an even loudness for the bass track, especially here when you ring the note. So you can hear that it has a bit more sustain because of the compressor. And lastly, we have a mixed track right here. So this is a track that, that doesn't have any compression to it. So let's take a listen to that. Okay, so for a mix track, uh, we, we usually set the compressor at these levels. So we have the attack time at 0.2 milliseconds. So this is the fastest setting. Release time at around 400 milliseconds. The ratio at 2 is to 1 up to 6 is to 1. So I have it at 4 is to 1 right now. We want it to have a soft knee. We want it to have a gradual transition. 
and then use your ears for the threshold and makeup gain. So this is the track with compression. So again, without compression. with compression. So you can hear the compressor kicking in, controlling the the loud kick and other other parts of the song that punches are really hard, and it makes the track sound more even and sound natural. And there you have it. If you found that video interesting or helpful, hit the thumbs up and click the subscribe button down there. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the card at the top. Follow me on social media right here and I'll see you on the next video. See ya!